welcome back students after your vacations today we are going to start our uh, subject computer applications uh, till 8th class you were knowing this subject as it that is information technology but in your class 9th this particular subject will be called computer applications uh, even the marking scheme which you had in class 8th that will also be changed we will discuss marking scheme and all later on so today first i will revise whatever you did in the month of april that is the simple input output and processing process input unit this is your input unit and then processing and then output unit as a user you give input to the computer computer process it and then you get the desired output remember student it is very important to get the desired output computer always gives you output even if you will make wrong entry suppose you want to do 2 plus 3 you all know that you will get 5 as output but it is possible for an operator while typing it make and make mistake instead of plus sign it, he or she may can put minus sign. So, you will get output minus 1. So, in any case, because you are giving input to the user, in any case, you will get the output from the user. Right? But, whether it is desired one or not, that you have to decide. Before entering the input, we know that this, this should be the output. Even if you are adding big numbers, then also you know that it should not be in negative numbers it should be a positive number because you are adding two numbers so it is very important to get desired output so if you are giving correct input cpu where the main processing will be held cpu will process those instruction and you will get your output after that its application where you can use computers everywhere I think uh, today there is no place where computers are not being used. Everywhere we are using computers, whether it is uh, school, whether it is colleges, whether it is for engineering purposes, medical purposes, banks, hotels, everywhere in one or another form we are using in hospitals and all. We are using for different type of test and uh, another things. So we are using computers in one or another way everywhere uh, today. So it is used almost in all the fields where people are working for one or another thing they are using computers and uh, then it's component that is cpu components this is the Basic components of CPU, CU, that is control unit. Control unit is used to coordinate the input given by the user. Because you want some numbers to be added, what you will do? First you will enter 2. So it will wait. Computer cannot directly start processing with the Number two, what it will do? First of all, when you enter anything in the computer, first it will be converted into the form of zeros and one because computer will not understand what language right now I am speaking or even whatever you are entering. First, it needs to be converted into the form of zeros and one because computer only understand the language of zeros and one. So, first it will control and coordinates the input given by the user. So, that, that work is done by CU. Then arithmetic and logic unit. This part will actually do the processing. Whatever the operation you want to perform, 
प्लस माइनस मल्टीप्लीकेशन और वॉट एवर अदर एरेथमेटिक और एनी अदर काइंड ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग यू वॉन्ट टू डू दैट विल एक्चुअली हेल्ड इन दिस पार्ट दैट इज एरेथमेटिक एंड लॉजिक यूनिट एंड देन यू हैव मेमरी यूनिट वेयर यू कैन स्टोर योर डाटा वॉट एवर द थिंग्स यू आर डूइंग इन द कंप्यूटर दैट इज द बेनिफिट ऑफ द कंप्यूटर दैट यू कैन एक्चुअली स्टोर योर थिंग्स इवन फॉर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम अनलेस एंड एंटिल यू विल नॉट डिलीट इट विल रिमेन so th- these are the characteristics of computer like it is very uh, speedy you can have uh, versatile it can work diligent and many other characteristics which you studied in the month of april different types of computers also you did in the month of april different kinds of computer like laptop laptop tablet and in many other forms smartphone is also one of the kind of computer nowadays so we have different kind of computers with the help of which we can make our life easier as well as better so now uh, i think so uh, our revision part is over now i'll start with chapter 2 of your book that is input output devices as you all know that you need to give input to the computer then only it will process your in, uh, instructions it is very simple process if you want to have tea right now what all things you need tea leaves you need uh, milk sugar water of course all these things you need whenever you want to have tea similarly for computer to process your instructions you need some of the inputs for getting the data into the computer we need some input devices so today we are going to discuss some input devices of the computer first one is the keyboard this is the first input device which everyone needs when they are entering data into the computer i'll show you the picture of traditional input device you could see this keyboard could you see this clearly see there are different kind of keys on the keyboard these are the function keys then we have alphanumeric keys alphabets are here and then uh, numbers are here then we have arrow keys these are called navigation keys then we have a control alt d we have a numeric pad with the help of which you can type different type of numbers so these kind of keys we have on the keyboard now when you enter any instruction through the keyboard suppose you are entering capital a how actually does it process when you enter anything in the computer with the help of keyboard how does it process when you enter capital a see as i told you earlier that whatever the instructions you are giving to the computer it accepts only in the form of zero and one okay so when you are entering any instruction in the computer at that time first it will get converted into the form of zero and one when you are entering capital a at that time computer will not understand this capital a computer will understand its code for each and every key whatever the keys you have in the computer for each and every key there is one code behind it like for capital a 65 similarly for capital b 66 and if you have small letters like for small a 97 now when you enter capital a computer will get 65 as an instruction you will divide this number with 2 obviously as quotient you get 32 but remainder will be 1 again you will divide it by 2 quotient will be 16 remainder will be 0 again you divide it by 2 again remainder will 0 but quotient will be 8 like this you will do unless and until you get one at the bottom now see here you got one now from bottom to 
top you have to go 1, 4 times 0 and then 1. So this is how it converts the any character or any number which you enter into the computer converted into the form of zeros and ones. So there is code behind each and every key which you have on the keypad, keyboard that will get converted into the form of 0 and 1 and computer then it will instruct. Obviously you are not going to write single character in the computer to do any kind of processing. For each and every character you are, uh, computer is uh, converting that data into the form of 0 and 1. See how fast it is doing. I took around 1 minute to convert this whereas computer follow these instruction in the fractions of seconds. Okay. Now, next input device is mouse. You all have seen mouse, right? You all have seen mouse. This is your mouse. This is how it looks, right? So, basically we have three portion in our mouse. This is your left click, click. this is your right click and this is your scroller right with the help of left click you can have anything which you want to point which you want to open that you can use with the help of right click you can have all the shortcuts like cut copy and paste whatever the shortcuts you want to have that you can able to have with the help of right click and with the help of this scroller you are able to move up and down uh, even if you want to scroll from top to bottom or bottom to top that you are able to do with the help of this uh, scroller or this rotator. So basically mouse is a pointing device. With the help of mouse you can point on your files and folders. Like if you want to point uh, your on your files and folder this you can do with the help of mouse whereas keyboard will only help you to enter characters and numbers but if you want to point certainly on any of the uh, file you can do that i'll show you this is your mouse pointer right and if you want to point on this image that is called one you can point it here with the help of mouse so basically mouse is help you to point on a certain uh, file or folder and makes your work easier. Different kind of mouse are coming in the market. Mechanical mouse which you have seen uh, a few years back in your computer labs nowadays uh, in our computer labs we have optical mouse. Optical mouse is basically which I have shown you that is optical mouse. Uh, you can at the back of that optical mouse you can see the red color light blinking. Then we have optical mechanical which is the combination of mechanical and optical mouse. So these kind of mouse are available in the market which you can use. Now next device is stylus. Stylus you all have seen, you all may be using. Suppose you have touch screen, this is your stylus too. Suppose you have touch screen and you don't want to your, use your fingers to point you can simply use this device to point on any of the things. See, it is open. So you don't have to do, don't have to point anywhere else. Simil, uh, similarly, simply you, can, simply you can use this particular device to point on any of the object which is available on the uh, touch screen. So this is your stylus. Next one is scanner. Your next device is scanner. What actually your scanner does that basically converts this hard copy. See this is the document. If you want this document to be scanned, if you want soft copy of this, you can use the scanner. This is your scanner students. Simply you have to keep this certificate or this any kind of document inside the scanner and press this scan button. 